Good day, viewers. Yeah, welcome back to chemistry class. Today, we're going to be looking at ions. Just before we move on, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly do so and click the notification bell. Now, what is an ion? An ion is any atom or group of atoms which possesses an electric charge. If we recall in our previous class, we've discussed about the elements, where we talk about the monoatomic elements, diatomic elements, and polyatomic elements. There are some molecules that possess electric charges. Now, this ion generally can be said that ions are formed when an atom loss or gain an electron or electrons. Let's say, for instance, sodium with an atomic number of 11 can lose an electron, which is going to give us Na plus plus one electron. So this one is called sodium atom. When it loses an electron, it forms sodium ion. Likewise, some non-metals like chlorine, we always gain an electron. When they gain an electron, they form, they form chlorine atom. So this is chloride ion, while this one is chlorine atom. Now, from this, you cannot see that there are two types of ions, the positively charged ions and the negatively charged ions. The positively charged ions are otherwise known as the cations, or negatively charged ions are otherwise known as the, cata the anions, while the negatively charged ions are otherwise known as the anions. Now let's look at valency. What is valency? Valency can be defined as a combining power of an element. This valency is synonymous to the oxidation number of any element. And this, is refer, and this refers to the number of charge possessed by that particular element. As we said the other time, sodium, with an atomic number of 11, lost one electron to form sodium ion plus one electron. So this plus one is called the valency of sodium. Likewise, the plus one can be referred to as the oxidation number of sodium. Now, we will now look at the first 20 elements and their valencies. So let's look at the first 20 elements. The elements, symbol, atomic number, atomic mass, or also called mass number, then the valency. So there are some elements here in which their valency are not written, just because they are not easily determined. So they, are, they can be determined when we get to calculation of oscillation number. Now let's go at those ones that have their valency readily available. We have hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium. Why hydrogen as a symbol of H, helium, HE, lithium, Li, beryllium, BE, boron, B, carbon, C, nitrogen, N, oxygen, O, fluorine, F, neon, NE, sodium, NA, with their atomic number and their ma atomic mass or mass number. Now from here, hydrogen, no valency was written for hydrogen, just because hydrogen can have two different valency in different compounds. It can be plus one, it can also be minus one, depending on where it occurs. When it occurs in hydride, it forms minus one. So, helium has no valency. Lithium, valency of plus one. Then carbon has two valencies, plus two or plus four. Why nitrogen? As two valencies, minus three or minus five. 
Oxygen has valency of minus 2. Fluorine, minus 1. Neon has no valency. Nail, why sodium has valency of plus 1. Let's look for the remaining one. This is the remaining first 20 elements. Magnesium with a valency of plus 2. Aluminium, plus 3. Silicon, plus 2 or plus 4. Phosphorus, minus 3 or minus 5. Sulfur, minus 2, 4 or 6. So it has three different valency depending on where it occurs in what? In the compound. Chlorine, minus 1. Argon, nil. Argon doesn't have the valency. The atomic shell is completely fit. Then potassium, plus 1. Calcium is plus 2. So these are first valency elements and their valencies. There are some ions that combine together to form what is called a radical. A radical is formed when one or more ions combine together to have a unique valency. Let's say for instance, when we have OH, this is oxygen atom combining with hydrogen atom, and they, they are going to have a common valency, which is negative. So this, the name is called hydroxide ion. Now let's look at other radicals and their valencies. These are radicals, radical formula and valency. The first one we have ammonium with a formula of NH4 plus and the valency is this power. That is plus one. We can see here we have two atoms of nitrogen and hydrogen. So they combine together to have a unique valency, which is plus one. Hydroxide, OH minus. Minus one is valency. Triozonitrate 5, NO3 minus, minus 1 is valency. Diozonitrate 3, NO2 minus, minus 1, triozocarbonate 4, CO32 minus, minus 2. Hydrogen triozocarbonate 4, H, CO3 minus. Here we have three atoms of elements. We have hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. They combine together to have a unique uh, a charge, which is plus 1. And that is the valency, minus 1. Tetra ozo surface 6, that is SO4, 2 minus. So these are very important in the naming of chemical compounds, which we are going to look into it deeply in the next video. Kindly subscribe to my channel if you are new on this channel. And don't forget to click the notification bell and share for other learners to benefit. I remain Latif Ismaila Akobi, your mathematics and chemistry tutor. I meet you in the next video. Thank you.